What's up, America? You just tuned in to another great, exciting, informative edition of The Power Hour with your host, me, Power. And before I start my show, I want to give out my link to um, all my viewers and those of you who may be new viewers so that you guys can actually go through and view every single show that I've ever done. The link is, of course, you go to YouTube and it's in caps, The Power Hour, period, ATL. Again, the Power Hour period ATL. So that is my link. Excuse me. To all my true viewers, if you guys don't have all my shows, you can go to that link. It'll pull up every single show that none other than yours truly, Power Hour, has done. But anyway, let me get right into it. Today's title is That Bitch. Again, today's title is That Bitch. Then did it again. Let me add some on there. I'm talking about George Zimmerman, and I gotta take a drink for that. Excuse me, I, I, I gotta hit my beverage. I'm sorry. Yo, I'm reading in my news. They say that um, this cat, of course, y'all know he was arrested again for the second time. He's been charged yet again for the second time for the same one murder of Trayvon Martin. Well, this time the judge set the bail at a uh, million bucks. That's right, a million dollars. All right. Um. Anyone who knows anything about the uh, judicial system or, you know, you've been in jail or whatever, you you know, you had to pay a bond or whatever, you know that he doesn't have to pay a million dollars. He has to pay 10% of that, which, of course, is $100,000. Now, um, here's the thing. Even if he pays that bill, according to what I've read, they say that because the bill was set at a million dollars, even he has to first pay that bill to, or his lawyers have to first, you know, pay the hundred hundred thousand dollars to a bail bondsman however they say that his family and he has to have a million dollars worth of collateral now according to the press and the paper they don't have a million dollars worth of collateral so is that saying that he does he's not gonna be able to get out I don't know you know we'll see um but part of the bullshit to me is that his attorney um another bitch uh Mr. Mark O'Mara has the nerve to say now first of all before I say this they said that in his legal defense, they have $211,000 set up in his legal defense. So his attorney has the nerve to say that they need donations. Are you fucking serious? And I'm trying to stop cursing on the show. But for real, are you fucking serious? You know, you have $200,000 in your legal defense. Your bill's going to cost a, a, a 100000 to get out. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. And here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is the lawyer himself... Uh, Mr. O'Mara will end up putting up a million dollars worth of collateral. And you say, well, why would he do that? Because the exposure from this case. You, you understand what I'm saying? The exposure from this case. Before O.J., who had ever heard of Johnny Cochran or, 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 or uh, Shapiro? Or, or, or the, uh, the other one, the Kardashian? No one. Before those, I mean, you know, really, you know what I'm saying? I mean, some people have heard them, but they weren't big like that. So, that's what it's about. It, 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 it's exposure. You know what I'm saying? He'll go down as, you know, whether it, whether he win or not. You know, he goes down as the lawyer who um, defended George Zimmerman. So that's exposure for him. So it's it's just a bunch of bullshit, man. Um, I just can't believe that his lawyers had the nerve to say that they need funds. And even though you're actually telling to the press that you guys have $211,000, you know, in the legal defense. And furthermore, what the hell happened to that $130,000 that him and his... Um, trailer trash wife had set up in a paypal account who knows so in other news in other news another in other news that doesn't have anything to do with this i was reading this i'm just disgusted with him r kelly is my dude i like r kelly i love him you know what i'm saying that his music is off the chain but he crazy as hell i was reading this idiot had the nerve to say that the movie the notebook is what broke up his marriage Really, R. Kelly? That's what broke up your marriage? It didn't have nothing to do with your uh, videotaping you, you know, having sex with uh, kids and shit like that. It didn't have nothing to do with you pissing on a little girl. Uh, none of that shit. It didn't have nothing to do with, with none of that, you know. It's because of the movie The Notebook. Okay. Okay. If that's what you want us to believe, then cool. That's what we'll believe if that's what you want us to believe. America, thank you for tuning in. World, thank you for tuning in to my show. Please write in with your opinions and your thoughts. Deuces.